Emmerdale's Natalie J. Robb on embracing her figure, I was ashamed of my curves, but I love them now. The soap actress, 42, on her character's action-packed storylines, being a little minx in real life, and how she's learned to love her curvy body. Walking around the Emmerdale set with Natalie J. Robb is a bit like walking down the school corridors with the popular girl. Our meandering route through the studios is punctuated by stops to chat, high-five and air kiss cast, crew and tea ladies alike. Oh, and nipple tweaking. That's a thing too. I've got physical Tourette's, she says with one of her deep, throaty and, dare we say it, dirty laughs. I'm always running up to people on set and tweaking their nipples, because I like to keep everyone's energy up. Everyone knows when I'm coming, because they all scatter in the corridors and try to block me. I'm a little minx on set. There's hardly been a time when the cast are more in need of energy. It's been a grueling few weeks filming what have been some of the most exciting scenes the soap has seen in years, a barn explosion, a fatal shooting a dramatic suicide and, to round it all off, a surprise birth by none other than Natalie's long-standing character, Moira Barton. I love it when the big storylines come up, but I often wonder what the stress does to your body, she says thoughtfully, as she settles down on a sofa in a quiet back room. You're putting yourself through so many emotions during the day. Moira's going through depression, shock, so I am too. Sometimes it's the end of the day and I have to do an emotional scene and I just feel drained. But Natalie's no stranger to onset stress. Not only has she been an Emmerdale local for eight years, but she's actually a soap veteran of the highest order. At the age of 15 she starred in Scottish soap Take the High Road, before going on to have parts in Coy, EastEnders, and The Bill. Although playing Dr. Jude Carlyle for three years in Doctors had an unexpected effect on Natalie, who grew up dreaming of becoming a surgeon. I've picked up a bit of medical knowledge along the way, and I like to think I'm pretty good in a crisis, she says. I was once on a train with a heavily pregnant woman who began losing a lot of blood. She was panicking, but I managed to get her onto the platform and make a screen from a poster sign. I talked to her in my best calming, bedside manner voice. I explained to her that the more she relaxed, the less blood would pump round her body and the less she'd lose. Luckily, she made it to the hospital in time and had a little boy called Connor, I know because the further called me and thanked me for my help. Natalie's trademark husky voice is tinged with a gentle Scottish accent, despite having now lived in England for longer than in her country of birth but Scotland will always be home, and she has fond memories of growing up in the countryside near Glasgow. I was a little country bumpkin. I used to play football with the boys in a field full of cowpats, she remembers. I'd hang out with the boys because the girls were all into dressing up and putting on makeup, and I wasn't interested at all. I was a tomboy from my roots. She left for London at the age of 21 packing her car with all her worldly possessions, which at that time included a tarantula called Bertha. We didn't have anywhere to stay when I first arrived, so I slept in my car for a little while, with the heating on, of course, to keep Bertha warm. She laughs. I had her for 25 years, she was completely lovely and not in the least scary. These days Bertha has been replaced by a new furry friend a Japanese Akito and Rottweiler cross called Bronson, after the famous murderer Charles. Bronson is my big love at the moment, she says. I don't have time to date as I live on set. Maybe I'll get back into it once I've finished with these big storylines. If I went for dinner I'd have to say, do you mind if I bring my script with me, so I can learn my lines? She's certainly not short of admirers, though and regularly receives fan mail from younger blokes who love her curvaceous figure, which is on show today in a fitted jumper and skinny jeans. I was given these curves by my mum, and I'm not ashamed of them. We both have boobies and a bum that sticks out, she says. For years as a teen I was ashamed, but I'm all about accepting my body. A lot of blokes have said to me that they like women with curves. You do get guys who like skinny girls. Really they should just like boys then. 
In the past, Natalie's spoken about wanting to start a family but waiting for the right man to come along before she has kids. Is playing a new mum making her broody? We used two babies for filming, and whenever they're on set there's lots of cooing. They were so small to begin with, and they're growing with me, she smiles a crinkly-eyed grin. It doesn't make me broody, though, I have friends with babies I like to see. I watched one born every minute to prepare for the birth scene, and I won't be watching that again. Respect to women who have kids and rip everything up. After eight years on the soap, Natalie is philosophical about knowing when it's time to throw in the towel. Will I stay? That's in the lap of the gods, because it's so story-led, she says. I'm a great believer that you mustn't take it personally if you get written out, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. With so many exciting storylines under her belt, let's hope those soap gods keep Moira in the dales. Natalie on Moira I absolutely love playing such a feisty, strong woman. I think women can relate to Moira, maybe it's because she doesn't wear a lot of makeup and viewers feel like they could be going through it themselves. She's a woman's woman. Women have a lot to say and I think we should embrace that, rather than shy away from it. The Big Barn explosion was exciting. We filmed late into the nights, as we were leaving the set, the rest of the crew were arriving for work. We did most of our own stunts, and had to film the explosion in one take, which was pretty nerve-wracking. When the blast went off, we felt a real, boiling surge from it. Afterwards the adrenaline was rushing though us, we were just buzzing. I was wired every night when I got home. Moira's surprise pregnancy might seem unlikely, but as research I spent some time with a woman whose fifth child came as a complete shock. Like Moira, she had no idea until her waters broke. They didn't make me wear a bump or anything, that's just my fat, but they did give me baggier clothes. I've done eight years on Emmerdale now, but I never get bored of Moira, she has a far more exciting life than I do. It's the longest role I've had and it's been great to develop a character. Emma Dale is on ITV every weekday, 7pm, PM. PM.